Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Welcome to my little eBay Radio 2015 in pictures video. This is going to be one of three videos that I put up regarding eBay Radio this year. The main video will come out Friday as usual, and that will be consisting of interviews and all kinds of cool stuff that happened at the convention itself. I will also do a video, a separate one, about some Las Vegas sites that I think you guys would be interested in. But to wet your whistle, I figured I would start out with my pictorial video that tells the story of eBay Radio. So let's get started. This particular sojourn started out for me on a Monday, which was June 15th, 2015. As you can see, I'm in the plane, riding in economy class, nothing but the best for the crazy New York driver. Upon arriving, you'll see, this is the look from my window, nothing but blue sky. Guys, the weather in Las Vegas is great. I was there for a week, and it was sunny every single day. Yet, back here in New Jersey, it was cloudy and rainy every single day and cool. New Jersey had weather of 66 degrees and here in Vegas we had 106. But don't let that scare you. It wasn't humid at all. It was just a dry heat. But I, w I went out in it and I enjoyed it. This was taken on Monday before the event started. As you can see there's nobody around but that's not going to be that way for long. Here's another view from the walkway that leads from Bally's to the casino across the street. Another cool view. There's a random slot machine. I just wanted you to see the slots so you knew I was actually there. These are swag bags. Every single eBay attendee got one of these with all kinds of free goodies and promotions and things like that. Here's a random casino picture with Jeremy and Anastasia in the background there. Another casino slot machine. Here's a Corvette that Bally's is raffling off. No, I did not enter that contest because I have no luck. This is a meal at the Hash House. The Hash House is a restaurant located not too far from Bally's, a few blocks away. One of the members of our group knew about it, so we all trudged over there. That was on Monday evening. This is a very good picture because I want to start here and explain what this is. This picture was taken Tuesday morning. As we checked in each morning, on the left side of the room was this whiteboard and each person could sign up to eat lunch with one person of their choice. Let me just go over this one if I may. Top left, Marsha Kalia, Stephanie Inge, Catherine Terrell, eBay Community, Stamps.com, 6-Bit Software, Dana Crawford, Kat Simpson, Thrifting with the Boys, and I will tell you guys that this group here was the first one to fill up every day. Reply Manager, Terra Peak, Worth Point, Cliff Enrico, he's a lawyer, eBay Seller Communications, Campaign Go, Roadie, eBay Mobile, Audrey, eBay for Business, Indicia, John Lawson, another very popular group, eBay North America Consumer Selling, eBay Member to Member Help Desk, eBay Seller Team, and eBay Pricing and Monetization. On this particular day, I chose the eBay Seller Team. You can see my name's filled in there. And you get to meet one on one with people who actually work for eBay. There were a lot of eBay workers present to listen to our concerns. And let me tell you something that was great. I talked to them all in detail and we talked about a lot of things guys an awful lot of things and I'm very happy for that here this is Tuesday morning people are starting to arrive the conference started promptly at 9 a.m. each day and ended approximately 5 p.m. with that break for lunch that we talked about here's a picture of me in front of the sign again because that sign looks cool that's the DS. These easels show the various sponsors of the event. 
I'm sure if you listen to eBay Radio, you recognize these names. This is one of the sponsor tables right here. You can see my buddy David Rayer on the right there. And next to David is Jeremy. And now I, I decided to go up to the front of the room and actually face the crowd. And that's a picture of a random crowd scene. The room is starting to fill up. Another view. There's Griff and Lee doing eBay Radio Live. They broadcast it live each day for approximately an hour and a half. There's that Corvette again. I took this picture. We went out to eat one night in a hamburger joint located between Bally's and the Paris Casino, I think. And they have a hamburger that costs $777. But of course, it comes with Dom Perignon. And we asked the waiter how many of these he sells a day. And he came up with the amount of zero. I don't think they've ever sold one. Not surprised. That's a picture of the way my hamburger looked. And it was quite good. There's E. Betsy doing her thing. This is kind of, these pictures are kind of cloudy because I tried to use the zoom feature. This is when they were doing a raffle. One day they did a raffle for some eBay prizes and everybody got a ticket. And no, I didn't win that either. But it happens. This was my basic seat where I'm sitting right now. I sat in the same seat every day with the same people around me. That's a bad picture of John Lawson. Bad because I tried to use the zoom feature and it distorted the poor guy. This was a puzzle some people were working on as you enter the conference room itself. This was taken on Tuesday and as you can see the puzzle is just being assembled. It's nowhere near done. On Wednesday I actually took a seat at the puzzle table and spent a good hour helping the folks put this together. And I actually had a good time with it. As you can see here, these, these are the people working on the puzzle. There's Luis Sanchez, her husband Jean. Jean spent an awful lot of time working on the puzzle. That's Catherine Terrell. Catherine again, she made a very good presentation. Very lively and informative. This was taken on Wednesday, by the way. They also had a game where they would make two circles of attendees. And they had this package that you could see the man there is holding, wrapped to the gills with all kinds of tape. And each person got 10 seconds to try and unwrap this package. And if they did unwrap it, they, they got to keep the goodies inside. Of course, nobody really won anything because they did such a great job of taping it. But the lady next to me won a speaker. Okay. As far as this is concerned, do not worry about any of these pictures because everything will be explored in more detail on Friday's actual video. Okay? okay. This was my meal. This was my lunch on we Wednesday from the Italian joint. It took so long to get it, we only had 10 minutes to wolf it down before we had to get back. And as you can see, there we are. We're back. And Griff is doing his thing live, addressing the audience. This was right after lunch. There's a bad picture because I tried the zoom feature. Another random picture from my room. Another one. We went over to the Paris, no I'm sorry, the Flamingo Casino on Wednesday night I think it was for a private party that was sponsored by Worth Point and was invitation only. And I saw this cool picture and I wanted to take it just to see Vegas at night. This is something called the Link. It's actually a giant Ferris wheel. Somebody told me it costs $100 to ride this thing, but I can't quite be sure about that. But I can tell you I wouldn't pay 100 to ride it. Okay. Here we go. We're back in action now. That's Kip Jensen. I'll have more on him later. There's the thrifting with the boys. Jason T. Smith on the left and Brian Goodman on the right. There they are again. As you can see, I was sitting in the third row, which was the seats that I kept throughout the whole shindig. This was an interesting sign that greeted everybody as we entered the room. I figured I'd take a picture of it so you could see that. This is Kip Jensen here with his back to us. Kip works for eBay, and his job is to record and film actual eBay sellers like us and get their insights on eBay. 
Now, I've worked with Kip in the past, and he filmed me again. So hopefully that'll be used, and EVA will get a lot of good information from us sellers. They basically ask you, you know, what are your experiences on eBay? What could eBay do to make you feel a little happier? Are there any changes they could make? So, for instance, I told them I would like to see a really good line of communication open between eBay itself and us sellers. So if there are concerns, we could communicate with them basically through either the telephone or through live events or meetups. And guys, eBay's attitude was great throughout this whole thing. I don't care if you call me a fanboy or not. You weren't there. I was, and I firmly believe eBay is starting to value its sellers more. There's another picture. I just took this random picture in a little bakery that was near the Paris Casino. These little cakes here are $6 each. Look at these prices. Look at them. Unbelievable. There's a group shot. This was taken in front of the Bally's valet parking area. All right. In case you don't recognize anybody, I'll tell you who it is. There's yours truly. There's Gene, Robin, Louise, and Dave. All good, friendly people. Every single person I met at this shindig was as friendly as can be. There were no nasty people, sad no sad faces. There I am being filmed by Kip Jensen doing my thing. This was in Nosh. Every morning, five of us would get together and have bagels and coffee at 8 o'clock in the morning. You could see Scott Henshaw in the back. David Ray are there too. Robin and Jeremy did not make the picture. They were a little late in coming down that day. There I am with Griff. I'm sure you know Griff runs eBay Radio. There I am with Lee. That's Griff's partner on eBay Radio. Both very friendly people. Jason T. Smith from Thrifting with the Boys. I'm sure you know Jason. His partner, Brian Goodman, Thrifting with the Boys. Real nice guys. Catherine Terrell on the left. John Lawson on the right. And again. And here we were. This was in the burger joint. I showed you a picture of my hamburger earlier. So these were the good folks I ate with. John Lawson again. Scott Henshaw. E. Betsy. This was a dress-up game for people who came in crazy costumes to win prizes. Okay, that's MJ at the puzzle table. She spent a lot of time at the puzzle table, too. That's Jeffrey. I became friends with him and his mother. They also sell on eBay. And Jeffrey was a big puzzle guy. That's Gene. That's Louise's husband. He was at the puzzle table for most of the time. Real good, friendly, likable guy. Here... This was for the poker run contest. It's a little hard to explain, but each day you were supposed to go around to the sponsors' tables and get an envelope with some playing cards and build the best hand you can. Of course, I didn't win, but these were the finalists. All right? And another picture of that. You can see David made it in the group. All right? Another random picture. That's the picture I showed you earlier of the gang of us. So yeah, that's basically it. I had a great time. Guys, I loved it. If any of you ever get the chance to go to one of these events, please go. You'll meet great people. You'll meet great sellers. You'll meet great eBay representatives. You can network. And it's a whole week. You'll get away from the clouds if you live on the East Coast. Guys, I'm crazy New York driver, and you're not. Okay? I will see you on Friday with the main video where I interview a lot of important people and a lot of likable people. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching, and guys, rock on, man.